Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about eight no spend, low spend ideas. Let's get right into it. I have a lot of ideas that I think could save us all a lot of money. Some of these you may have done, some of these you may be interested in doing. So let me start with number one. The first thing to ask yourself is, what is something that you've been spending a lot of money on lately or you see it's gone up in price and you want to save money? It could be you notice your electric bill going up or you're spending more on gas or it could be your grocery budget. So that's the first thing. Figure out what area you're like, whoa, this is where I spend most of my money and concentrate on that. That's my first idea. Number two, instead of doing a no spend, which seems kind of maybe really stringent, is do a low spend. So there's folks that have said, you know what, I'm going to do all freezer and pantry cooking and I'm going to go no spend on groceries for two weeks. Well, what you could do is maybe cut your grocery bill in half instead of doing that. That way you don't you know, go really overly strict, but you at least cut your spending. So you could do a low spend on anything. You could do a low spend on going out to eat. It could be any idea that you want. Instead of doing a no spend, you can go low spend. And I've done that before. And hey, it is effective on saving money. Number three, you could cut out one thing, whether it's for a week, you could do a no spend weekend, or you could just say, and this is what I did for August. And believe me, it's actually been kind of challenging because there's, the, and I've noticed this. It's like, for some reason, they know. Uh, the internet knows. <laughs> and I did a no spend for Dollar Tree for the month of August. And I've noticed since I've done that, all these videos keep popping up on YouTube. Things you must buy at the Dollar Tree in the month of August. But I haven't gone to the Dollar Tree and I haven't spent any money. So what you could do is say for one month or for one week or two months or however you know long you want to do it, you choose. I always feel like it's good to start out small and pick something you're not going to spend money on that maybe you feel like you've overspent on lately. It could be Dollar Tree. It could be restaurant eating. Maybe you love to buy books. Maybe you love to buy crafts. It doesn't matter. Restaurant eating, I think, is a good one, though. And just say, for this month, I'm either going to do a low spend and cut my budget in half or do a no spend in this area. Okay, number four, and I love this idea. Take off a holiday. Tell everybody that you're not doing a holiday meal that year. Just not doing a holiday meal could save a lot of money. I've known of people that didn't make a traditional holiday meal, and they did a pantry refrigerator and freezer meal and just figured everything and had a really nice meal but they didn't buy special quote holiday food or they take off a birthday or they just you know they don't spend money on something typical they may not exchange gifts at all that year that could be considered a no spend low spend okay I love this idea I call it the this or that game number five this or that so you're at the store, you know, you, we all know that processed food and convenience food costs a lot of money. But if you're used to buying a lot of it and say, I'm no longer going to buy it. But what you could do is say, okay, I get a choice between this or that. I get a choice between buying, and I'm just making this up, buying a bag of chips or a package of nuts. I can buy this or that. I can't buy both. That would be an example. Play the this or that game or with the no buy and I'm adding this one on here. When you get up to the grocery store line or wherever you're shopping, put one item back. That can really save a lot of money. I tell you guys that one all the time. Okay, number six, and this one would be huge. No drinks. So in other words, if you're used to buying, you know, pop or and I know a lot of people wouldn't be able to live without their coffee, maybe or tea, but maybe what you could do is instead of, you know, buying uh, pop and things like that you could just drink water for that month so not buying drinks that could significantly do so do a no spend on that and see if you miss it and number seven you could skip a week grocery shopping or I heard this idea from Jan from New York City saves money she said instead of shopping every seven days for groceries shop every ten so you end up shopping three times that month instead of four so that's kind of like skipping a week, but it's a little gentler approach, so I thought that was a good idea. Number eight, do it yourself. Is there something that you're paying someone for that you could save money if you did it yourself, if you have the skill to do it? 
So these are just eight ideas. I'm sure there's tons more. I've done low spend, no spend. I think from now on each month I'm going to do a new challenge. I'm not sure what my September challenge is. So far August challenge, no spend Dollar Tree is going great. So each month I'm going to do something a little bit different. Let me know if you guys are on a no spend, low spend, and if you have any ideas you want to share with the rest of us. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.